name is Allie Mooney. I have three kids, um, a six-year-old girl, a three-year-old boy, and a one-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old boy. I started learning Spanish in high school, just have always loved it. Um, and then I feel like it's a similar experience with a lot of people. You graduate high school, if you do it in college grade or not, basically you stop using it if you're not um, directly immersed in that language. So I've forgotten a ton, but I decided this summer because my, my girl is about to start first grade and I homeschooled her for kindergarten um, and she's about to go into first grade. So I decided like this summer, we're going to just dive all into language. Um, that's going to be what we're working on all summer long. And then to build that foundation and then we can use it as the school year starts up again. Um, and language has just been important for us. It creates empathy um, pretty immediately and it allows you to connect to people that are different than you. It helps their brain in many other ways besides just literally knowing another language. It helps them um, have more, I feel like creative reasoning and I feel it makes it makes them more curious humans in the United States where we live. It's just an undervalued skill where I feel like other cultures, other countries, it's kind of assumed, you know, at least two languages. Um, and I feel like that is one thing that's really lacking in uh, our culture. I just had to choose to just go for it because I realized what had been holding me back the last few attempts was insecurity. So I decided, I'm like, you know what, this summer, we're, I'm just going to go for it, not be embarrassed um, or not care that I don't know everything and hope that they know that I'm trying and that having another language would be great. And so um, I just kind of had to decide and not look back. Um, and my kids, they don't have any insecurities or anything about it because they're kids. They don't, they don't think that way. That's me with all my adult baggage, you know? They have such a natural interest. Both of them, my six and my three-year-old, memorize things like those videos. They memorize it really quickly. My six-year-old memorizes it and understands the meanings really quickly. But my three-year-old memorizes the words. Even if he doesn't remember that oso means bear, he, he's like coloring and he's singing, you know, one of our Spanish songs that are in our playlist or just repeating Que acción es esta? Like in the videos, they've been super excited. Love it. They have the cutest little accents. I would say within a couple days, they have and were using those phrases. But they love the videos of kids and animals doing the actions and the words. And, and the coloring sheets, yeah. surprisingly, have kept their attention because they remember the video. We talk about it. We sing about it. And so when I'm trying to make dinner and I throw a, you know, bilar coloring sheet at them, they're like, oh, I've seen this girl before and it works out great. You can do, you know, 10 minutes a day or you can do one day a week of 30 minute lessons or how you yeah. gave those two options so that I didn't have to think about it because as a mom, like you're, you're very limited uh, brain power left over to think, oh, how should I organize these lessons? So I really like you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. And then also, for me, just I think because of my homeschool, I was like, or I could just do whatever I feel like is going to my kids are going to engage in the most based off of their their all their emotions for that day. So I I like how each lesson is so achievable. So I could do the video and a worksheet in a day, or if they're just really not having it, we just listen to the book in the car. There's there, I felt like I feel like there's always a way to get a little bit in each day. For my age, kids is perfect. I told my husband, like, this is exactly what we've been looking for. Short little lessons already all laid out for us. Um, they're doing all the thinking for us. So um, we're super thankful and it's been going so well. And my kids, I'm, I'm so um, pleasantly surprised at how much they love and are receptive. And I hope that it means that they would be so super interested in learning more languages in the future too.